Hey, what's up everyone? Checking out Cyanogen Mod 12.1. This is a preview alpha build, so it's not 100% stable and it is not official by any means. And it's not even nightly at the moment. But yeah, this is running Android 5.1 and it is in fact running on the Nexus 6. This is a build date of Saturday, March 28th. This actually just came out. I just flashed it. So this is a super fresh, quick look. And I just want to get you guys kind of familiarized with what's going on with CM 12.1. But yeah, uh, before I get into the features real quick, I want to show you a really cool feature on your applications here. So if you have a folder with applications placed inside, you're going to notice down here, you have a lock feature. So you can go in here, hit that, hit the lock, place in your pattern, passcode, password, whatever you use. You can also choose whether or not you want to remove the certain application from that folder, but it will in fact remove it from the folder. So be aware of that. But at the top, you're going to have that lock again. If you press that lock and you go back to your home screen, it will basically show you that those applications are now locked out. So nobody can access those within that folder, but they cannot access that within your app drawer as well. So it will completely disable that app from being usable throughout your Android device. Now, if you want to show your applications again, just simply hit that, toggle in your passcode again or whatever you use, and then go unlock that functionality up there at the top, and you'll be able to use your applications once again it will be placed within the folder, your app drawer, and throughout your device. So that's a really cool feature, at least I think. You are going to notice in your settings, or your basic setting uh, information and features here. In your device settings, you're going to have your sounds. In here, you will be able to link the ringtone and notification volumes. So if you want to use that, you can go ahead and do that. I am going to mention that the toggle is fully functional. You're going to have multiple toggles. Although this uh, ringer uh, icon up here seems to be a little weird, I'm not exactly sure what that does. It seems like it's not supposed to be there, but hey, it, it, it works, so no big deal. Uh, you can use increasing ring volume, so you can do a start volume, and then you can do a ramp up if you want to use that. Uh, you can disable it, toggle it on or off. You can launch a music app when you place or connect your headset, so that's great. The other thing is vibrator intensity. You can tune that down a little bit. The 100% on the Nexus 6 is rather strong. It's almost like a beeper, um, but you guys can decide whether or not you want to use that. Display and lights, you're gonna have some really great stuff. You do in fact have LED notifications down here at the bottom. You can toggle this on with the battery lights or with your notifications. You can go in here and set up uh, custom values based on notifications you select, and then you can toggle the colors between those if you want to use the custom values, or you can turn it off completely. Now I do want to mention that the battery light is going to be toggled on and off, and it is fully functional, at least with the kernel that is provided. If you uh, flash a uh, custom kernel. I don't know if that will technically work or not. You can try it, but you might run into some complications and you might have to use the kernel app or whatever is involved with that kernel. But yeah, the default kernel will in fact toggle that off, which is nice because there are some ROMs that do not work so well with that. The show search bar in your recents menu is going to be integrated as well. You can turn that on or off. Fully functional, so that's great as well. Expanded desktop is included. And that is a nice feature. Wake on plug if you want that. So basically, if you charge your device or connect the power cord, it will turn off or turn on your display. The double tap to wake and sleep is here as well. And that is fully functional with the kernel provided. If you install a custom kernel, you might have to go and set that up a little bit different. Ambient display is just a toggle on or off. There are no advanced features just yet. Live display is included. And this is really great. You have your display mode settings. You can go into an automatic you can disable it with off, or you can set day and night toggles, which will be integrated into the color temperature. So if you go in here, you can actually set your day and night toggles. I like to keep mine at about 7,000, which is a little bit in the middle of warm and cool. You can go check it out. All displays are different, but that is a really great setting, I think, in general. It just makes the Nexus pop really nice with whites and what have you. It's not too warm, but you guys can check that out and play with it. Uh, that's pretty much display and lights. You have your standard themes here, CM12 themes. Notification manager, not too much going on in here. Your basic stuff. Lock screen's got some pretty great things. You do have in down here your display music visualizer. So in your lock screen, you'll have a little visualizer down there if you're listening to music. It's pretty cool. Uh, lock screen shortcuts is also included. So you can go in here and turn these off if you are accidentally triggering certain things when you swipe. You can set them on the defaults, or you can select a specific application. Great little integration there with the lock screen shortcuts. Now you also have buttons. 
And in here you can use a left-handed mode when you are in landscape orientation, if you are prone to using your left hand. Show arrow keys while typing, pretty standard. Button and layouts, you can go in here and adjust your buttons and layouts on your nav bar. So if you want to change your icon positioning priority, if you want to add more actions or what have you, you can do that. So if you make any mistakes or you want to go back to the default, you can just hit restore defaults and go back to the normal uh, lollipop nav bar. So you do have that. Navigation ring targets are included, so you can set these up. If you want to go and select a specific action, you can do that. So you can select a kill app, screen off, or you can do applications themselves. So that's a great little feature if you want to add up some new stuff. You can actually remove Google Now if you want to as well. That's up to you. Once you're done, you just hit that little checkbox to confirm your settings. You can also restore the defaults, which will basically just go back to a standard uh, Google Now if you want to. Now you're going to see that the recent long press here is actually grayed out. It's not currently usable, so be aware of that. Power menu, basic stuff here. You're going to have reboot menu, uh, screenshots if you want, in your airplane mode. Everything else is not enabled yet. Uh, that might change in the future. Uh, it is worth noting that if you want the advanced reboots, you may have to go into your developer options and toggle this on. Pretty simple, just advanced reboot, toggle it on if you want to get that setting. Uh, I'm not sure if that was enabled by default or not, so check on that. Uh, yeah, that was button. So you do have the ability to end calls with your power button if you want to. I don't recommend that. Uh, you can wake up the device with your volume rockers if you want to as well, or use those for playback controls. Um, you also have reorient, which will just invert your volume rockers if you are in landscape mode. So that's pretty great stuff. Uh, battery, security, um, security stuff, pretty standard. Didn't notice anything new in here. You do have system profile, so you can toggle this on based on your locations and settings. You can go do that and toggle that through your power menu button if you want. Status bar, some pretty great stuff. You can center up your clock or you can put it on the right, left, or hide it all together. You can put your AMs and PMs, small, hidden, normal, Battery styles, pretty standard. Everything is in here. And you can put the percentage in the icon itself next to it or hide it. You also have your brightness control slider on top of the status bar there and your notification count. In terms of your notification drawer, you do have the option to use quick pull down. You can put this on right or left. You can also disable it. So that's just basically, you know, quick, quick access there. Whoa, what just happened there? That's buggy. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> you have that. Um, you also have the ability to show weather uh, on your header bar. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Uh, if it does, you will probably have to enable GPS first and toggle that setting. Your tiles, pretty standard stuff here. You can move these around. You can add more, and there's actually a lot of stuff to choose from if you want. You have your live display settings, lock screen. You can basically go into your lock right away. NFC, system profiles, hotspot, compass. All the great stuff is in here. And I do really like the screen timeout feature right there. You can just go in there and change that up rather quickly. And uh, you will have advanced GPS uh, toggles as well if you want to use that. I haven't set this up yet. But yeah, you can go in there and get your advanced GPS settings, toggle that off real quickly. Same thing with Wi-Fi, but you're probably going to have to enable the first row there and highlight that if you want to get that feature. If you toggle that off, you will probably just get a basic on and off toggle. So be aware of that. GPS still works fully functional in the advanced settings, but Wi-Fi, for whatever reason, doesn't work that way. Uh, show brightness slider. I think we already had that. Oh, that's just going to disable it on the toggle here. So if you want to take off your toggle and use just the swiping up on your status bar, you can choose whether or not you want to do that. Advanced location settings, GPS toggle. Everyone knows that stuff. Oh, it is worth noting that in privacy, I think right now there's a bug with the SMS. You will have to disable blacklist. Otherwise, you're going to have some messaging bugs. But you do have privacy guard in here. You can set that up on your applications if you want to. And some other features are down here if you want to check those out. I think that pretty much sums it up, though. You do have a performance setting here for your kernel if you're going to use the stock-based kernel. And you have your basic developer options. I mentioned you can enable the advanced reboot there. And you can go and change up your animation scales if you want to do that. Get them a little bit snappier and quicker. 
but yeah, that's CM 12.1, Signage Mod 12.1. It's currently in preview build for the Nexus 6, running Android 5.1. Uh, it is running a custom kernel or just a standard kernel. I didn't notice anything bad technically. It seemed like the battery was going down pretty quick on screen on time. I was only getting about three hours maybe. But that was just the first uh, charge cycle. So I'm not sure if that's going to stick. I might try Lean Kernel and see if the results are better, but that will basically sum this up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll probably make a better one later on. This was just thrown together rather quickly. If you notice any touches on the screen, that's because I was using the onboard microphone on the Nexus 6. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it wasn't too long, and that pretty much sums it up. I'll catch you guys in the next one.